Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today I need to get some beans vacuum sealed and into the pantry, but I don't have a lot of vacuum sealer there. I am just about out. I have ordered some more, but they're not here. And I need to get this done while I have time, because I don't always have extra time to do this stuff. So while I have time, I'm doing it. And uh, these vacuum sealer bags that you buy have a textured back on them, which allows your vacuum sealer to suck the air through before it seals it. You can't use, well, they say you can't use a regular bag. So if you have got bags like so, these are just freezer bags with a zipper top. There are a bunch of different kinds of bags. I have found that this bag and this bag, both of these have the same kind of top on them. And then we ha also have these bags. This is also a freezer bag, but it has this zipper top on it which those are super handy if you're tossing something in the fridge really fast. Those work great in the freezer. And then we have like sandwich bags with the little, it's got the green top on. These bags are really thin. You do not, I wouldn't use these bags. They're just too thin. I mean, they would probably work, but they're gonna get a poke a hole in them super, super easy. So I wouldn't use the sandwich bag. Not for anything that you really want to go a long-term amount. So you want to go with a freezer bag. And these are great. They are nice and thick. But this zipper top when you, is not going to help you at all. So you could use the bag piece, but you can't use the top. So we're going to put that aside. These bags right here, I have found, do wonders. I have one right here that I vacuum sealed of these navy beans. And you can hear the air is out of them. They're all sucked in. You can see the texture. This works beautifully with this bag. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the key is to this are you want the freezer bag and you want this type of top. So it's got the ridges on it and the press zipper seal like a Ziploc bag. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy scissors and I'm just going to cut the zipper seal right off. Right as close as I can to that. We're going to trim it right off there. So then I have my bag. And this is a nice thick freezer bag, so it's going to last. It's, things aren't going to poke through as easy. So if you do sharp items, it's going to poke holes just like it's going to in a freezer bag. So you don't want to put really sharp stuff in it. If you must put sharp stuff in it, put it inside a paper bag, um, something thick that's going to keep it from poking out through. I'm going to cut right here. You have like the two flaps and then it, the zipper seal. We're gonna, the zipper piece we're gonna cut off. We're just gonna go right down this, just like so. And then, so then you've got these two pieces. You've got the zipper piece. We don't need this one. I'm gonna throw that off to the side. This is what we're going to use, this top ring, because it has ridges in it. And this is going to create a chamber for the air to come through, which is really nice. And I've tried this a whole bunch of different ways. One little strip does not work. Two little strips does not work. But three, the magic number is three, three work. Okay, so we've got our three strips here and our bag, and we are going to put our beans in the bag. 
and you can squeeze air out of these so it already has a hole if your bag is sealed you want to just poke a tiny hole in it so it can suck the air out of that as well and um, that is all you need to do and this bag is a little small for this but we're gonna make it work there we go we'll just stuff it in there so and then we got our beans in the bag all right so I'm gonna lay my bag down and I want to get this in position where I want it. So I want this so the opening is here in the chamber and I have plenty of room for my heat strip to come down. This gray strip is where it's going to seal. So I'm going to take one of my pieces and I'm going to stick it in there. And I like to leave about half an inch out of here. And then I'm going to take another one of our pieces and we're going to stick that in. Get it in the bag. This one's a little long. We're going to stick that in there, one on each side and then one in the middle. And we will take this little strip and stick it in the middle. And you just want to make sure it's between your bag. And it's in there and you've got a little bit of space sticking out so then I'm just going to close my machine and we are going to back seal so you can see this sucked the air out and it's rock hard so now it is sealed and I like just to air on the side of caution I do a double seal because these things are making it pretty thick, these little ribs. So I'm just going to do one more seal on this just so it gives it another heat strip. It's going to be right on top of it, but it's just going to melt it a little bit more just so I know that seal is nice and strong because I don't want these to come unsealed. And that is it. You pull this little bad boy out. And you are sealed and you can see the seal here and you can see your little tabs now you can cut your tabs off if you'd like now I found for the larger bags if there's this much space it's not going to work right so we want to shrink this bag up so if you take it down so you still want plenty of space for your ceiling so if you lay it down here where you're going to place it you can still trim all this off. All that much can come off of here. Now, you could reuse this top piece for something small. Just seal the bottom up and then fill it and redo it. I'm just going to go right across my scissors, leaving myself plenty of space to seal this. I'm going to lay it across so its in opening is in my chamber. And then I'm going to take three of these pieces and put it between the two bags. And again, I just want it to hang out about a half an inch. That's fine. We'll get number three in there. So you just want to make sure, you always want to remember to make sure that your bag is in the middle of the vacuum chamber and your little tabs, these little tabs, come past where it's going to seal so it can suck that air out. So then we're just going to close this up and we're going to do it again. It is all sealed all the way through you could give it a second seal if you want some machines get a little hotter and you might melt the bag um, a little too far you know it's sealed that way but 
um, it may have a little tear in it here, but uh, this melted through really nice, all of those, and our beans are hard. They're, they're nice and solid in there and vacuum sealed. And this will work, but the zipper seals are not gonna do it. So you could still use this bag, but you need this top to make this work. This top piece is the key to this. And so you can still use this bag. If you've got some of these bags, you can cut that off. You just need to come up with these little ribs. And that's it. Sealing, vacuum sealing up stuff without your vacuum seal bags. These bags are wonderful. They're easy. It's, there's not much thought to it or anything. You just stick it in and seal it, which is really nice. It's They're a little bit more money. And... You pay for that convenience, really. So you could save a bunch of money. This box of 50 bags is $2 for freezer bags at, at Walmart. Um, or you can get the gallon bags, 20 bags for $2. They're $1.98. So there is a significant savings here. And, but it's still going to keep your product. It's, everything is going to be sealed up. As you can see, it's really easy to do it's just figuring out which one works and that's it for this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe we'll see you in the next video bye